Hi, this is Frances, and I really appreciate you watching my video today. I just want to have a little audience participation project on this video. My question is, what would you do if somebody came up to you and asked you, when is your baby due? Or says something about you being pregnant and you're not pregnant. My, the reason I'm asking that is that I was watching a comedian who was a plus size like myself and somebody asked her that question. She gets all bent out of shape and starts putting her hands on her hip and shaking her head and, you know, and I'm like, really? You know, part of, of any self-improvement is kind of owning what you're feeling and putting yourself in a position of power not a position of being the victim. So I have that question all the time because I have a big stomach. And I know I have a big stomach and I understand some people think I'm pregnant. So if somebody asks me that question, I'll just say, no, I'm not pregnant, I'm just fat. And I'll leave it at that. I don't explain anything, I don't get upset. I'm owning that where I'm at and that I believe is part of any self-improvement is to own the position that we're in. Now, they're usually mortified. So my next response will be just a laugh and say, well, at least you think I'm young enough to be pregnant. I'm in my late 50s. That's really past childbearing bearing age. And they'll, they'll still feel a little embarrassed. And I'll reassure them, I know you didn't mean any ill intent. And I can understand how you, you could mistake that. And it's not a problem. And I just try to reassure them that it's not a problem. But I know a lot of people really get offended by this. And there's the times in my life where I have been offended by such, such things. I've just gotten to the position where I believe that I can exercise all day and lose weight. And I know that some of us have done this in the past, that we've lost weight, worked really hard, that when we lost the weight, we made bad choices because our minds were not where they needed to be. So at this point, I'm working on my mind as well as working on making healthier food choices, you know, exercising and those types of things. And the reason I wanted to open this for discussion is part, the biggest issue that I have with my wellness and my weight loss and my healthy choices for, um, exercise, weight loss, and such, is the mental part. And I really feel that one of the biggest sources of support for me has been my group exercise classes. My Zumba class, my DDP yoga class, those are the biggest, um, biggest places that I gain support. And when something kind of punches us in the stomach, like something, you know, I can see that that could hurt somebody. It has hurt me in the past when people have said things. Um, is to have a support network where, you know, we can post a comment or send a message to somebody. Hey, you know, this happened. You know, how would you respond to it? And getting to the point where we can let it go and own where we're, where we're at and feel empathy for the person that is that was talking to us, even if even if they're not coming from a place that they, even if they're coming from an angry place, so that we can move on with our lives and have a better life. And I really appreciate y'all um, listening to me today. And if you like what I said, please share that with your friends. And also. Um, would love it if you would subscribe because I really want to build a community. Thank you so much for listening to me today.